Fantastic. Ralph, it's been a really good week for Southampton off the back of the points against, Man against Manchester United. Then, of course, last night's victory in the League Cup. But how important now is it that you use this as a platform for the weekend's Premier League match? Yes, very important. Uh, I think uh, after the last two games, uh, to go uh, to Newcastle where our history, uh, our winning history not, is not really the biggest one, um, uh, to show up there and to change this, I think is a big goal for us, yes. It's been a big week as well off the field with regards to transfer activity. You signed Lianco. Can you tell us about how he's settling in, how he's looked in training and, and whether he'll be involved this weekend? Yes, I'm happy that uh, we could make this signing. Uh, we have, uh, after Yannick Westergaard was gone, definitely not uh, enough centre-backs. Uh, now we have another one. Um, yeah, like always, uh, when a player comes new to the club, he needs a little bit of time to adapt to our game, in adapt to, to what is our behaviour, because uh, yeah, um, it's a little bit different from what, what he played uh, in the past. So, um, yeah, I, I see it always as a long-term project, and then uh, you give him enough time to, uh, to adapt to it. Uh, he, he must learn a few things, and then, um, yeah, he will have a good impact in the, in the, in the sport. You signed a number of players over the course of, of this transfer window. You have been one of the busier clubs when it comes to, to new faces. The fans will be desperate to know with five days left, are you getting close to any more or have you finished your business now? Mm, not 100% finished. Uh, we'll have a look. If there's such an interesting opportunity popping up, then maybe we, we, we do again. Uh, but I think uh, the transfer window so far was uh, a successful one for us, I must say, and um, yeah, it was needed definitely. And yes, uh, we changed the team a little bit, and uh, I quite enjoy working with the team so far. Is there one position that you could get an extra player that you'd, you'd like to target? Is there one area you think needs strengthening? Not the only position where we don't have uh, that many opportunities is, is the six. So we have with Ori Prowse and Ibra three players there for two positions, every other. Position is doubled, uh, and uh, yeah, we have a few players that can also play the six. But but when we when we would do something, then maybe on this position again. Looking ahead to the weekend, a huge change in, in Newcastle. How much could this really finish the, the the positive week you've had, particularly going into an international break and and really get your season going? Absolutely important. Um, after the first game, what we have lost against Everton, we we have shown a different uh, face, and I think this is what we need to show also against Newcastle. A tough game, like every year, we hadn't played our guest game, best games there, and we need to play a good one because uh, otherwise we, we we cannot take something there. And uh, yes, I'm I'm absolutely looking forward to to turn things around in this in this ground. Okay, we'll go to Joe Mizard at PLP. Hi Ralph, Hello. how are you? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Hiya. So the match last night might have been against the lower league team, but you came home with a record breaking away win and a clean sheet against a team known for giant killing. What impressed you most about the overall performance? Well, I didn't know that it was a record what we had marked here, but um, no impressive was, uh, and it was also the, the the clear message in the halftime that we don't stop uh, pushing hard and not don't stop uh, keeping the tempo high. And against such an opponent, this is very important because uh, then you can stress them and then they start doing things what they don't want to do so far. And then you get a lot of chances to score. And then you, when you score, it's always good. I mean, for our players, it's always a good feeling when you score a few goals, when you play well. And um, this is what we did. And so it was for everybody absolutely enjoyable to watch. And yeah, but uh, I know there's only a, a League Two team, so so uh, don't hang it too high. We, we played a good game, that's it. And now um, we are still in the league, in the League Cup, this is good. But now concentrate on the Premier League and uh, show a good performance on, on Saturday. How is the squad looking in terms of availability and injuries ahead of the trip to Newcastle? Yes, Stuart Armstrong is still out, um, not in the team training so far, and yeah, Will Smallbone still also long-term injury. The rest is working with the team and is available. And you mentioned the turn in the mentality after the Everton game. How valuable is retaining that kind of hunger going forward? 
Yeah, very important. I mean, uh, we have, as I said, uh, this season a bigger squad, uh, more alternatives, more duels on every position, and everybody wants to show up. You could see it yesterday that players they haven't played so far really wanted to show, and this is the the, the reaction the behavior I want to see. And then uh, it ends up in a higher quality in the sessions and higher quality, hopefully, than on the weekend also. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Adam Blackmore. Ralph, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, congratulations on last night. Thank um, you. It was good fun. Uh, can, can we expect you to think about some of those players to start on the weekend who performed so well? You started with the same team in the first two Premier League matches. Did any players push themselves towards the team for the weekend with their games last night? Yeah, they have absolutely shown uh, that uh, they are more than an alternative uh, for me. This is always good. And in the end, it, it depends on what we need, uh, what uh, qualities we need, on what positions. Uh, and this is what I told them also today. It's important that everybody knows his his role he has to play in the in, in this team. And finally, it can be margins that decide if he if I, I choose him or, or another one. And then uh, you must be yeah still be focused and uh, try to to show up and be be hard working because uh, we need everybody here and as I said it can be tactically reasons that we that we change things and 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 if if this happens then you have to still go on um, I know Stewie Armstrong is injured at the moment um, is everything okay with with Stuart is he are you worried there's been rumors about him wanting to go back to Scotland or, or you know perhaps not not playing is are you worried about losing him or any other players before the window we've talked about players in but you worried about losing any no not worry about losing any uh, and uh, as I always said we want to have everybody here and uh, the season is long and we have made experience that uh, we need every player and uh, uh, we don't want to make the mistake from last year again and uh, that's the reason why I don't expect anybody to go and just finally, on Newcastle, uh, as you said, it's not been a, a happy hunting ground. When you look at them as a team, uh, what concerns you? What do you need to deal with uh, from Newcastle to make sure you get at least a point and go into the break feeling good? Yeah, it is not so um, so difficult to, to see their qualities up front. They have a lot of speed and dribbling qualities and, and scoring qualities in the, in the front line. And uh, in the back, uh, a very good organized uh, back five, so um, not easy to create chances. And especially with their speed and their, their dribbling qualities, uh, always a uh, hard to defend team. Jordan, good afternoon, Ralph. Hello, good afternoon. Uh, Moya Nusi, um, I wasn't at the game last night, but can't ignore the fact he scored a hat trick. I just want to know what's changed this summer in what you've seen in him compared to, to last summer when you're know, more than happy for him to go back out on loan again. Yeah, I think that the game fits a little bit more to him. We play now a little bit more football. We look for the gaps and for the for the red zone and where he has his biggest strength. And uh, his biggest qualities are definitely in this area of the game. Uh, you can see it in every session. He has some surprising movements uh, that, that create uh, space for other players or gives himself a chance to score. Very lively the whole preseason, waiting for his chance and that this will, chance will come was, was clear. And, Let's have a look. Uh, I think it will be a good year for him, yes. Did you notice a difference in his mindset, his mentality, though, that when he came back, was he? did you tell he was ready to go from the off and prove a point? I think it, it's a typical example of uh, that a loan period can be also uh, something very positive for a player. Um, he has a chance to play all the time there. That makes you stronger. You get used to the the physicality when you're on the pitch uh, from the Premier League or even if he's played in Scotland it's, it's it's it seems for him that he's a little bit strengthened in his in his in his physically uh, and 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 robust more robust I think and finally a, a, a bigger a, a better baggage and just finally one more quick one if I may I would have asked this last night but I couldn't what did it feel like on the sideline as goals five six seven eight went in, what's it like to be on the other side of that and not seeing him going in against you? <laughs> yeah, I felt a little bit like Pep when he's, when he's sitting all, every week out there because uh, it's quite nice. Uh, I mean, he doesn't win every week 8-0, but feels quite comfortable, yes? That's right. Thank you, Rob. Good luck for the weekend. Thank you. Okay, Tom Crocker. Hi, Rob. Hello. Um, 
one of the players who was on that score sheet last night was Kyle Walker-Peters, his first official goal for the club, um, playing at left-back as well. Is that an option, do you think, for this season? An important option, maybe, because he's not been playing on the right so far this season? Yeah, I think uh, he has shown that uh, with his qualities, he's also an option on the left side. And uh, I was very, very um, positive about his performance yesterday. And yes, uh, this is what I expected. Uh, that is the reason why I think uh, on these positions we have moment momentary a luxury problem, if you want. But uh, um, I, I like these problems more than the others, to be honest. Eh? And he was obviously one of your better, more consistent performers last season. I think a lot of fans were surprised he didn't play the first couple of games. I mean, how has he reacted to that new challenge? Because Tino has come in and done very well, and Kyle before it was pretty much his own position. Very professional, uh, not easy in the beginning. A little bit, uh, yeah, you could feel that it, it has an effect, especially when Costino was praised for his good performance. Uh, but the reaction he showed on the training pitch and on in the game now was it exactly how it should be always. Uh, not um, looking back, looking forward, uh, showing up, uh, grabbing the chance to get to play, and then do the best what you can. And this is what you need to do with what you. Uh, have signed the deal for, uh, do the best for the club in every position the manager puts you in, and this is what I expect. Thanks, Ralph. Good luck, Sally. Thank you. Take Tom Barkley. Hi, Ralph. Hello. Um, big game for Adam Armstrong personally at the weekend because he's a Geordie, Newcastle boy. Um, I'm just wondering uh, how much, I don't know how much you followed his career when he was younger because you weren't. Uh, yeah, actually at the club, but how much do you think he's developed as a player since those early days at Newcastle when he got a handful of appearances in the Premier League? And how much do you think he'll be, you know, hoping to prove something to his the club that made him? I cannot so, speak so much about how good he was at that time because uh, I had him not on my list at that time, so I don't I don't know him when he was playing there. Uh, I can only speak about what I see in a moment and. Um, this is uh, quite positive. Uh, I think he showed immediately that he's a guy who, who wants to score goals, who has a very good finish with both legs. And not only this, he's also working quite hard and he's always nasty because he's always there and the players immediately um, trusted him to give him the ball because they know around the box he has a good finish. And yes, I expect a lot of goals from him and he expects also from himself. I think a lot of goals he had last game and he had a big chance what he missed, but I think uh, when you see him finishing in the sessions, uh, is is quite good, and and uh, was uh, uh, I'm sure that he will have a, a very good season here. They were talking about him and Che on match of the day, and how obviously they haven't played together for very long, but they already seem to have quite a, a natural um, partnership already. I mean, you were a striker. What was it like? Uh, can you can you see the two of them already having a sort of a link up, which is it's not you can't teach. They just seem to be able to have a, a sort of partnership that works already. I mean, in general, um, it is always uh, so. There was always the the yeah the idea from a big uh, fits better to a small one who plays around him. Uh, so that's what I was always playing with. Uh, always a, a smaller striker beside me, and 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 it definitely fits good to me because then we we don't make the same moves, we are in different spaces and that is automatically working well. I think both guys are yeah, unselfish in their runs, uh, but uh, very, very, very uh, target oriented in their finish and uh, yeah, it, it, they, they, they felt immediately working good together and uh, I think this is uh, good to see, uh, but we have also other strikers, I think they can fit with them and and uh, we have a lot of alternatives up front. Armando showed yesterday that he can score goals, but also it's important for me to see. Also, he needs to get chances in the Premier League to play and um, he has some qualities what we definitely need. And yeah, this is, uh, these are the, the flexibilities we have up front and we need this the whole season. Thank you. Thank you. OK, we will go to Alex Crook. Alex, you there? 
sorry, I was just a bit slow off the mark there. Um, I was just going to ask about Liveramento. Obviously, in many people's eyes, a man of the match performance against Manchester United. Did you expect him to hit the ground running in the Premier League so quickly? Because obviously he's very young, doesn't have a lot of experience, but he was exceptional in that game. Yeah, I mean, normally when a new player comes to our uh, club, um, the way we play and the intensity we train and, and with the pressing style, new players need a little bit of time to adapt to it, Yeah, to be honest. And when I have seen how quick he was there and how quick he, he, he could deliver what we are asking in this position, then I knew he has to, he has to have something very good special if you want uh, and uh, for a young player he is uh, very far in his development yes and uh, that doesn't mean that he has no mistakes or everything is perfect but uh, the whole package uh, from this age is uh, physically mentally and also technically a very good one yes how good do you think he could become because when he was signed it was mentioned to me that he was your most exciting signing since the likes of, of virgil van dyke do you think he could one day be talked about in those terms you won't hear from me uh, things like that uh, because it's for nothing. It's not for him. It's not good for him. It's not good for me. It's not good for nobody. So let this guy uh, grow in 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 in, an, in a good atmosphere where we don't expect too much from him. Uh, the higher the higher you hang him now, the the, the 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 deeper you 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 put him down when he doesn't work f for him perfectly. So uh, let him his time to develop himself. I will uh, protect him when I need to. I will give him the breaks when, when I see that, uh, because in, uh, when, when I have one experience, then this that we, we learned how to handle the young players. I, I spoke very often about that I have played with 18, 19 year old players in Leipzig in the, in the Champions League, and it is normal that there are coming some moments where they start making mistakes or whatever. But uh, I'm not waiting for this. But when, I, when it happens, then I know how to handle And um, this is normal for a young player, but um, it's, it's not normal that you are so far in your development so in, in this moment. Just the last one on the subject of kids. It was Alan Hansen who once said, you can't win anything with kids. But do you think Southampton could prove that wrong this season because you've got a very young squad, but the signs are positive early on? Yeah, young, old, it's not important for me. It's important, uh, good uh, uh, and, and willing to learn. And uh, it seems that we have uh, a squad that, that, that likes to do this, but this is not a guarantee that we take the points we want to take. So uh, we need to fight for every game and in every game. A tough season is coming here in a tough league. The league is maybe if we even if we have been getting better now, I feel that the league is also getting better better every season. Huh? It's getting harder. I think a, a perfect signal how strong the Premier League is are the results like yesterday. Yeah? I mean, uh, it is uh, when you see the League Cup the first round, uh, how the Premier League teams maybe with uh, not with the best uh, team on the on the on the on the pitch, uh, how they boosted away the other clubs in the lower leagues. I mean, you see how how strong the Premier League gets gets every year, and it, it's getting diff more difficult every year to to perform there and to win games. Okay, finish back off with Adam Blackmore. Hi again, Ralph. Just wanted to ask you about Lianco, really, because I don't really know. Uh, too much about him, his qualities and what it was when you researched him and he was recruited and everything, what he brings to, to the squad as a player. Obviously, he's half Brazilian, half Serbian. Hopefully, you get a bit of half uh, you know, Thiago, half Vidic or something. What, what, do you, <laughs> what, what are his qualities as a player? Why do you like him? Um, yeah, I think uh, I have seen, I've seen him now one time in the session today in the morning. Um, Sorry that I don't want to make a final uh, statement about his qualities. Uh, I think he has a good package. He is quick. He has a good body. Um, he can play football. Uh, how quick he learns how to defend in our team and how to how to defend uh, like we want to do it. Uh, we will see. Uh, it's a little bit different, but he has this natural uh, being on the jump. He likes to do this, and uh, but that doesn't mean that you immediately uh, see it on the pitch. Uh, sometimes it, it takes time to learn it. He saw today in the session that everything in our team goes a little bit quicker. You don't have so much time to stop the ball and to do something because you get pressure immediately from all sides. This is something new for him. But uh, yeah, it, after after an adept, uh, adept time, I think he he will definitely help us, and this is the reason why we signed him. 
And one of the qualities that we, we like to invest to guard, of course, was his distribution from the back and his ability to play a ball forward from centre back. Is it that sort of footballing ability that the anchor also has the ability to do that as well as well as defend? Could it become a key thing for you to transition? Hopefully, yes. Um, I cannot say that about that. Uh, I haven't seen it so far because it was only a, a low number session, and there you have a five v five, so it's not so 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 uh, visible the, the, this quality. Um, but what I can say is that every centre back in my uh, centre back in my team so far has made big developments in their game with the ball. When you see Jan Bedrek now, and uh, see him two or three years ago, he's he's a very much better foot, footballer now. With Sally the same, a check we don't have to speak about. Uh, he's on the ball very good, and Yannick also improved his game with the ball massively because we want this, we want to do this, we want to develop the players there, and also when uh, they make a few mistakes, we can handle this and. Uh, we learn, and uh, this is what makes you better. Jack Stadler, we, I just wanted to mention Jack, actually, you mentioned him. He's had a great start to the season, hasn't he? And I, I'm personally really pleased for him, because he's had to battle in and out of the team for a number of years. But he's been terrific. He was excellent against Manchester United. Yeah, I think uh, when Jack uh, works on his uh, defensive duels and is aggressive there and and nasty, then he's a, a very, very good centre-back. And he's like a like a leader in the back in the moment, uh, yes, he's really fight it for his for his position, and he want to don't want to give it away so easily. So I think uh, in the moment he 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 shows uh, how important he can be for this club, and this is what uh, what I need. I need a, a, a guy good on the ball, but also a guy who wins his duels. And this was sometimes the problems of Czech, that he has done a little bit uh, too nice and too 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 calm and too. Too less aggressive, and and when he's defending forward, he's strong, and this is what I what I must demand every day, and and, and what he has to do consistently.